Two persons dead in major fire at South Mumbai's high-rise building's maker chambers. Mumbai police ensure protection to multiplexes submit threats by MNS for screening upcoming movie featuring Pakistani actor. Thank you, Rukma. Good evening. And welcome to Metro Scan from Mumbai. Now, let's the news in detail. A major fire broke out in the VRs today at residential building in South Mumbai, killing two persons. A senior official from the fire brigade said the fire broke out at 20th floor of residential maker chamber, following which 10 fire tenders rushed to the spot. The incident took place in a wing of maker chambers at Cuff Parade. Therefore, there were people sleeping in the tower at the time of incident. An official from the fire brigade control room said two persons were killed in the fire, while 11 others were rescued, according to police officials and firefighters. Deputy Commissioner of Police Ashok Dudai said Mumbai police will provide adequate protection to cinema theatres as and when required in regards to screening the upcoming movie for featuring a Pakistani actor. Amid the veils threat by MNS of vandalism at multiplexes if they screen Karan Joe's upcoming movie, the film's producer today met Mumbai's top police officials seeking protection for the theatres to screen it. A team from Johor's Dharma Productions along with filmmaker Mukesh Bhatt met Mumbai Police Commissioner Dattatre Parsalgikar and Joint Commissioner Devin Bharti and sought protection for the theatres to screen the soon-to-be-released film. Mukesh Bhatt is the President of the Film and Television Producer Guild of India. And the three accused in the Copa de rape and murder case were presented before the session court today in Ahmednagar Court. Two of the accused requested the court to provide them with a lawyer. The hearing of the case will commence tomorrow. Special Public Prosecutor Ujwal Nikam said, keeping in mind the seriousness of the case, he has been directed by the state government to put strongly the facts of the case. A 15-year-old girl was brutally raped and on July 13, alleged by three men who inflicted injuries all over her body before killing her at Kopadi village in Ahmednagar. The incident had sparked public outrage across Maharashtra. Bias Choice Home Inspections in collaboration with MACJ today announced the launch of Professional Homes Inspection Services, a revolutionary concept in the Indian real estate sector. Having pilot tested this concept in Kolkata this year, the service is now available for Mumbai market. Under this service, the property buyer can get the review of the property on various parameters. Speaking at the launch, management team member MACJ Vineet Changejia said that the Indian entity will submit comprehensive home inspection report for customers and real estate developers after inspection that will help the buyers to make more informed decision about the home they are considering. He also said that delivering transparency, confidence and assurance is a motto and so a team of professionals who are functions and safety examiners with special skill to handle specialized tool will inspect the property. In order to expand and strengthen the economical investment and bilateral trade between India and Brazil, a roundtable conference on international trade was organized today in the city. The event aimed to start a new phase of rediscovering investment and trade ties between India and Brazil. Speaking on the occasion, General Manager Marketing MIDC Gajanan Patil said MIDC is the largest industrial development corporation in India having 264 industrial parks and approximately 73,000 hectares of land. Maharashtra attracts 29% of FDIs that come to India and accounts for a total of 14% of India's GDP. To encourage students in the field of sports and share her incredible journey through the recent Rio Olympics, the Indian gymnast Deepa Karmaka today interacted with students of Ryan International School in Mumbai. The heroic gymnast in her interaction shared a struggle with a student in becoming the first Indian women gymnast to qualify for the Olympics. In her move to care for in environment, she planted sapling with the students on the occasion of Ryan Global. The Maharashtra government will soon start an ambulance boat service for the villages located near Mumbai to ensure a quick response in medical emergency. Maharashtra Health Minister Deepak Savan told reporters that ambulance boat can speedily reach villages located near Mumbai. Villages like Uran, Pali and Malsa are located near Mumbai. 
The state's government has also sanctioned the proposal of construction of 100-bed rural AIDS hospital in Uran. The tender and the other necessary documents will be declared in the next two months. And that's all we had in this edition of the Metro Scan from Mumbai. But we'll be back tomorrow evening with some latest update. Till then, goodbye. It's back to you, Rukma.